In this episode of the Brutal series, we retreat from the gang that we're fighting, and we evacuate Laobi and blow up all of the military strategic targets along the way. Hello everybody, welcome back to Brutal Mode. Now if you didn't catch the last episode, we were basically put into a corner by the bandits and we had to make a choice, and that choice was made by you guys. And you guys said we should retreat today back to the military base, so that's what we're going to be doing but we need to make sure that the enemy cannot follow us, so we're going to also be blowing up some bridges and evacuating towns. It's going to be an awesome episode this time. I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too, and let's get to it. So let's speak to the gang leader and see what we can do. Okay, look, you've overwhelmed us. We've lost. You can have this island. We'll leave you alone, okay? You can help Laobi as well, all right? Okay, come on, man. Let's evacuate. Come on, everyone out of here. The war's over. We've lost. Right, you see what I've just done there is I've made them think they have this whole island. It's a mind game because by telling them they own this whole area, it allows us for a bit of time to be spared evacuating Laobi and blowing these two bridges up so they don't have an extra access route and it will localize them to this section over here. As you can see, they've got a wall. They will all be around here because if we can fend them off at this point, we can actually hold back the rest of this island completely, which would be preferable. So let's get started with evacuation. We're going to need a train, of course, and I think the D13 takes the cake for Laobi because it's not particularly fast, um, but it does have a, a pretty good acceleration. I think if we go from Laobi over to the military base, we can actually repurpose these... Uh, well, not that one. We can repurpose the... And as I say, that's not one around. Here we go. <laughs> we can actually repurpose these omnibuses as before they were just taking the family members to go and see the people in the military, like in the barracks. Uh, since they're no longer in the barracks, we could actually repurpose these guys to take people from the military base over to Woodstock, the uh, the refugees. I think that's probably a good idea. And that actually requires no setup because it's already set up to take from the military base to the town and from the town to the military base it just makes sense as is we don't have to touch that so that's pretty good and what we need to do is we need to change from the campground to Laobi which is a pretty easy thing all we got to do is just get rid of that and plop that on there instead there we go now you uh, you're probably wondering oh well, hang on that a steam train can't turn around surely no it can't turn around you would expect me to go up here no because it's such a short train the driver can see out the back anyway so it doesn't really matter because it's only one car long. It's uh, it's fine. Okay, so back at the depot. We just go in here and we're going to go to the D13. Let's grab this and just add quickly. I think we'll go with, because if I, let's tune up the train first. Is it in the right tuning? Um, so 42.50. So I'm thinking probably we'll go for like a 40. But the thing is, I'm looking for good power on here, right? So 42. Yeah, that one's actually really good. So we'll go with 42 there. Grab that one. Change that tuning. Okay, uh, that's 85k we just spent on that. And then we'll go for passenger. We'll grab, because we have, if you see down here, we've got two Nicholas and one guard car. I don't think we're going to need a guard car, to be honest. It is a refugee train. Hopefully, there's going to be no war crimes committed. Um, <laughs> but uh, around 45 is what we're looking for here. with pretty good uh, loading speed and, and uh, good capacity. Because obviously, we want to get as many people as quickly as possible to the safety zone. Uh, so I'm thinking at probably 45, 32, 16. This is, this is pretty good, this one. The logistical passenger car of loading. We'll grab, I'm going to get just the one of these, I think. All uh, right, and then we'll put this one on to pass to Millie 2. Cool, that's good to go. In fact, we can actually do a really cool thing here. If we just quickly um, go to here and then go to change route to the West Bay Railway, we can do a really cool thing, which is this. Because we set up the line to be two tracks, right? Uh, it actually means we can use this train because it is going that way anyway. We might as well grab some passengers while we're, we're going that distance. So I think it is a slow train. So I'm not sure if they're going to actually want to get on it. They might want to wait for the express train. But it looks like, yeah, people are actually getting on board. Okie dokie. D13 is on the right side of the track now, which is brilliant. That's good stuff. And he's going to go over to... I don't know why it's a he. <laughs> he's going to go over to, uh, to Fancy Gap, drop that off. And then we'll see the D13 over at where we need to switch tracks to go over where we need to go. I'm going to make sure that the line actually changes and no one's on board here because they'll be in for a surprise if they uh, if they get on the train and they end up in Woodstock. <laughs> right, off you go. No passengers. Good, good, good. Yeah, that would be terrible. Am I Imagine that, you just want to go down the track as a Leslie drive, you want to see your family that live in Felicity, and you end up all the way over here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really loving this track, having two tracks next to each other. It just makes life so easy. Uh, and we only have like a couple of vehicles on here. At some point, this is going to be quite hectic in traffic, let me tell you. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just it's just so nice having the ability to just chuck a train on there. You don't have to wait for the train to pass a junction or anything. It's really good stuff. Now it's time for my favorite comment from the last video, which is going to go to 
S997 who says, I've just watched until episode 5, but I'm coming by to say your content is really cool. Nice video on gameplay and I'm really enjoying it. Well, I say thank you very much for that. And if you guys want to be featured in the next video, make sure to leave a comment. Okay, so we've got 3232. There's clearly a demand for escaping this, uh, this place. Uh, now, let's take a look at the bridge. Oh, we're going to need a train to come over here with some munitions. Um, right, how are we going to get a train over here, I wonder? I suppose we could stop the evacuation train here. Um, or we could make a quick bypass, but there's a little point, to be honest. Uh, we might as well just stop the train, bring the tra another train with munitions onto the bridge. Oh, that's a good... Oh, actually, you know what we could do? That's, that's not a bad idea, actually. If we get some munitions in a boxcar, we can just uncouple the train and blow the blow the boxcar up. That does make sense, surely. Uh, now, which train are we going to do that? I don't want to blow the train up, crucially, because <laughs> we do need the trains. Um, but, like, uh, if, you, if we look over here, you can probably see I have got, like, a, a lot of boxcars. I think there's 18 I have in storage. Quite a few, so we do have a little bit to spare. Uh, now, what trains do we have, though, is, is the issue. Not many. We just have the general and the and the good train. I don't really want to use the good train, the class B, in case it's captured. That would be horrible. Imagine that. The enemy just captures the best train <laughs> before we even use it on the main line. No. Um, so I'm thinking, what if we put the general on to the passenger route and then the class T can be its replacement? It depends where the class T is. If it's miles away, it's probably not the best idea. Is this the class T? Yes, this is the class T. Right. Okay, let's drop these passengers off and not load any more. And we'll send this back to the depot. And then what we'll do uh, is we can just swap out the trains and we'll probably put the class T on the blowing up side. Okay, cool. Let's grab these quickly and take these cars off. So we've got one security and three passenger. Cool. And then what we can do if we go to the general, we get a uh, passenger. We get... Um, so how fast does this go? I think it's 50, isn't it? So we go for like 50 two-ish hopefully with some good loading speed because then it should keep it nice and cheap but at the same time uh, pretty pretty efficient uh so about 50 stay around that i think it's going to be that one isn't it so we'll go one two three and a security car is 56 anyway that's fine and then we'll just put that one at the front cool and then this one can go on to the west bay railway and the class t and then we'll get uh how fast are we going 45 isn't it this train so uh, 46 could go with that one and we'll go one two three of those awesome source brilliant and then this one can go on to I believe what's gonna have to be a new line because we need to pick up some munitions which is gonna be a bit of a, an interesting one so we're gonna need uh, a bit of investment here actually uh, I suppose we can reuse this later on but we're gonna need a dock here at this paper mill which is gonna take wood from this place here this dock here and it's going to go to here and it's going to pick up the paper. The paper needs to go over to Felicity over here, drop off, get transported to the train station, then get picked up by the train, which also is going to have uh, coal on board. And then that needs to go to a processing plant, which we need to figure out where that's going to go. And then our munitions train, which we're going to use to blow up the bridge, needs to pick that up. And I think then we should be good. Now, uh, where is a good spot for that is the question. Uh, if we get the coal, we can bring it into the station, I suppose. And then the paper. Mm, I mean, I suppose we could, like, technically, we could have the station as the place where we uh, are actually going to construct the, the weapons. We do need a building for that, if that's the case. We'll go to our, where are we here? Cargo buildings. Okay, let's see what we've got. Uh, so we do need a munitions construction facility. If we just get something nice and small that is going to fit... Uh, let's see here. If we get... Is this going to fit? It is... Okay, okay. Can we get any bigger than that? No. All right. We'll go with this one here then. We'll put that in just there. Cool. And then now, I think we can drop that off and uh, we can we can construct. Okay, let's get to work with that then. So I think if we go down this way along the track and then we can bring... I'm think Because I'm thinking if a train's going to be... Because there's definitely going to be a train going like that, right? So we can stop the train here with a signal. And we can have a diversion track up to this one here. Okie dokie, let's sort this out. So we put a signal just there, right? And then we put a signal also just about there. And then we go to tracks. We can build a track down across there like that. Uh, we should have probably done it a bit closer to the signal to be honest, but oh well. And then this can go, I believe, straight back onto here. So that's gone on there now. We took a signal on that one as well. I believe this is all one way. Yeah, that's fine. 
And then that's coming down there. There's a massive crossover thing going on there. Wow, okay. I think I've thought of something then. If we just grab that, and then we go tracks and bring this down to up to like there first of all and then into all the way down here and then what we can do because this is going to be on the right side uh, so we can bring that track into that one there just like that that's very snug wow and then i think that's okay yeah that's fine and then now i think it should use two-way traffic on that we're going to have to reconfigure the tools line as well because that's going to go into the town isn't it uh on which side uh, no, that's on the wrong side. So, Upper Felicity is the other one. Go down here, all the way along this track. Yeah, and that's going to have to go... Oh, no, that one's going the wrong way. All right, we have to figure that out in just a sec. That one's going to go around there, and that's going to connect up to a signal which we don't have. All right, let's put a signal in there, and then add a station that one there. And that's gone completely the wrong way. I'm going to add, just before that one, I'm going to add this signal there. And I think that should fix the issue. Yeah, there we go. Awesome, awesome. Right, so this needs to go on to that track instead. So tracks and we'll grab that and put that onto... The... Oh, wow. Um, okay. Uh, how are we going to do that? That is an interesting junction. That is insane. Uh, we can go like that. It does let us do that. So I think we'll go like that. And then that can go uh, into that one. Cool. That's going down there then. And then this is now going to cross over. Oh, that is some shoddy track laying right there. Uh, <laughs> oh my days. This is all over the place. Right, now this track is going to be on that side. So that needs to go there. And then this track is going to be on this side. So that goes like that. And then, is that right? Yes, that is right. Awesome. Right. Good, good, good. We just need a signal. One more signal. <laughs> it's always one more, isn't it? Is that going to be okay still? Yeah, it is. Cool. We'll get a, a new line then to pick up from the coal. So first stop, let's go there. And then we're going to need a stop over at this signal just about... Where are we here? Signal. There we go. And then this is going to go up this line to here. That's on the wrong side of the track, which isn't preferable. Can we make this a slip switch? Not a chance. Can we make that cross over then? Um, probably not. Uh, <laughs> got myself in a bit of a pickle here. Right, let's get rid of that. And let's put that onto that side then. And some signals. So one there. And one also there. Cool. We can get rid of that. And then now that should be on the right side. So it looks like it is. And it's going to have to go into this track here. Double slip switch, yes. Okay, brilliant. And then this can go down into this signal just there. This is going to cross over, which is fine. And that's going to come down into the station, I believe, into that one there. Yes, cool. And then this is going to go back out this direction into... Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that one there. And then this track here is going to go around there. We are going to have so much infrastructure we have no idea what to do with. And I think that should complete the line. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. Right, that is the uh, the coal uh, drop off fell. Uh, terrible name, we'll think about later. And I think that should work for the most part. Uh, I am going to move that signal because it is going to annoy me though. So put that in there. Right then, that's that done. Well, I, I have really not been clever with these junctions, have I? Wow, these are insane. I cannot imagine even com contemplating making this sort of junction. That is stupid. Anyway, uh, coal train is now ready to go. We could do with some paper though. So let's go to our ship. Let's grab, ooh, I have small ports unlocked. I wonder when I got those. It's only a small dock, so we can't use big ships, but we can actually put a ship into here and it should do the good stuff. It won't be particularly fast at loading, I can imagine, but that might actually be pretty good for us just to save on the money, because that only cost us a thousand. We already have a, a big port over here, so there's not one needed here. But we do need a dock over in Felicity, and we can't afford a big one. I mean, we can, but I want to spend money on things later on. Uh, so I'm going to save the money for now and just get a small one. Uh, we will, of course, need to do this again later when we have some more money uh, with a bigger dock. But I'm thinking maybe there is a good spot for it. It's just outside the navigable waters there. Uh, okay, if we go there then, like that, and then what we can do, if we get a road... 
Uh, cheap road, please. Uh, that one there. And we can grab a truck pickup point. Uh, make it nice and small. It already is nice and small. In that case, then, we can get rid of that road there. And we only need one platform, so that should be okay. And then that can go in like that. And then for streets, that can go into there. And the city will automatically upgrade that for us, which is handy. Okay, right. We can't hold much here on the trucks, but it is it is working, which is what I need. And then they can go back up here, and we need an unload stop, uh, which we already have there. That's fine. Brilliant. Okay, then new line from over at this pickup point to over at this drop-off point. And we are turning around. Yes, cool. This is going to be paper. So what's paper recolor? Maybe this one here. That's a good one. Yeah, okay. That's all right. And then that one needs to be full, of course. This is going to be wood to pape uh, i believe two because we have to transport the wood so yeah we'll do it like that and then this one goes from that one there full um up to this one there also full uh over to where are we over to uh this one there and that one's empty and then back to number one that's fine yeah that's what i wanted to do and we'll make that one the right color and then yeah this truck route can take that that way brilliant now, which boat are we going to use? I think probably the Wilhelm is going to be the one. It is slightly slower, but I think it does uh, probably fit the job better. Because the idea of this route is it's going to go quickly to each place. We're already struggling on boats, and I realize doing this is going to really, like, it's going to push it, right? So there's definitely going to be no boats until we get some more unlocked. Buy vehicles, uh, Asian horse drawn carriage. We just need one, and that can go on to number two. So I've changed my mind, Class T. Instead of these three, we're going to use... Uh, some of these guys which we're gonna have to purchase more of from West Hampton uh, So where are we here 45? We're gonna look for 34 35 nowhere near but it will do uh, and we'll get one two three four five Six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. No, that's gonna be way too many I, I think it's, <laughs> I'm trying to get enough power, but also enough capacity uh, you know what, let's just go with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll go with 8, alright? We'll buy that, and then this can go on to where coal drop-off fell. And that's that, cool. It's looking a bit tired, this train, but uh, it'll serve its purpose, I'm sure. The Class T emerging from the woods with lots of coal on board, awesome. And the ship is also transporting, I believe, some paper as we speak. Uh, no, it's got some wood on board. There you go. And as it is a new episode, it's of course a new year. So let's find out what we get this year. Oh, ah, just tune-ups. That's a shame. Oh, well, uh, we might as well check it out here. So maximized and drag freight. Let's see what's in store for us. Buy vehicles. All right, so we need to look at drag freight. 30, That's some good power on there. Let's compare that to the new train, actually. 145.60. Uh, that's pretty good uh, for the class T uh, 145 60 compared to 240 78 because this is a brand new train and this one's you know it's fairly old so that's pretty good all right very nice um, and let's look at our class GV we got a new one maximized uh, now this one is 211 that's some pretty good power on there and some good speed as well that's a good good trade in fact we might even check the uh, the class GV out quickly Back to the depot and let's swap out this class GV for the maximized version. Brilliant. All right, we've got some coal coming down to the cargo station, which is for now our munitions factory. And what we can do is we can now get our train here, the class T, and we can tell this train to go after it's dropped off, of course, to go back to the depot. We'll put a couple of boxcars on here and we can fill them up with our new munitions and send it to the bridge. And okay, here it is. Look at it, it's so cute. It's only got three little tiny box cars. It's like a little toy train. All right, let's get the little one three off the main line. Let's just get it in the station. We'll stop it there until the train passes by. Okay, that seems to have crossed now. We can go back here and unstop that one. There we go. We're coming up to the bridge here. Let's get ready to stop. All right, and stop the train. Stop there. Just there is perfect. Okie dokie. Let's uncouple the train. Train unhooked. Let's get out of here, train. Scram. Get off the bridge quickly before, before you get blown to pieces. Looks like the train's clearing the bridge. There we go. The train's off. All right. Is everyone ready? Okay. Let's detonate it. Okay. So any moment now. Whoa. Wow. There is not a lot of that bridge left. Let's check out the damage. 
That's insane. The amount of damage. We really didn't need three cars of that stuff. Well, at least this military target is now destroyed. And I think now the only thing left to do is ask the question, do you guys think we should spend more money on the military? Or would you prefer going and looking at the more cargo oriented things? Let me know. Check out the community poll on my channel and make sure you leave a vote. Let's hit 100 votes before the next episode comes out. And click this playlist if you want to see all of the episodes in this series.